Hey everyone, it's Julie. In today's video, I kind of wanted to go over a follow-up of my disc bound system. I've been in this system for just over a month and I thought it would be great to just kind of sit down and chat with you guys about the things that I've learned in the process of setting this thing up, the things that I've discovered while setting it up and buying different things and trying new things. And hopefully this will help you if you are considering purchasing this system for yourself because I really, truly, truly love this system. But there are definitely some things that you need to look out for when setting your own system up. So I'm going to turn around the camera and show you guys the things that I've sort of discovered along the way. All right, so briefly I kind of wanted to go over um, just kind of a recap of what my current system is set up like. I am currently using one inch aluminum discs from Staples. This really seems to be a great size. Um, I am considering getting larger discs and I'll discuss that a little bit um, further down. My clear cover is from Cloth and Paper. And my setup is pretty simplistic, um, almost similar to what you see <laughs> everywhere else on social media. So I've got a lot of inserts, vellum, things like that, primarily from cloth and paper and from a few other places. So I just have this morning mindset half dashboard there. This card holder is from Poi and Hun, and I just kind of mixed in some photos of my plants along with some cards from cloth and paper. Um, I just like the overall look of it. Um, I, yeah, no real reasoning behind it other than I just thought it looked nice. Um, this sort of uh, one day at a time vellum is from Poi and Hun. This one's from Cloth and Paper. And then it just goes on into my inbox and my monthly section here. I just have this die cut from Capital Chic. I thought it was so pretty and perfect. I found it in my stash and honestly forgot I had it. So this section has all of my monthly inserts. As you can see, I still need to go in and fill in my um, month view for the month of September. And then I just have a top um, divider to just mark where my weeks are. Um, and I'm currently using some undated weekly inserts. I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna use these. However, I just use pen and highlighter in here so I keep it very, very simple. Um, I need to actually move my bookmark over because that was last week and this is a previous week. And then I have another top bookmark or divider, sorry, that has my daily inserts. Now for the past 30 days, I had been using these undated inserts from cloth and paper and they really, really are great. I'm just kind of kind of gonna kind of flip through here um, and show you guys, but I've really, really liked these. They've been very, very useful. I've I've thoroughly enjoyed using them, super functional. I love them. However, I will say this much. I don't have a huge love for undated inserts, mainly because I have no way to plan ahead unless I'm going to date my inserts that far out, and I just don't do that. So that is definitely one thing that I have learned for myself personally. Having undated inserts just does not work for me. So what I ended up switching to were the cloth and paper. They're the exact same insert, but instead of being undated, these actually have the dates. And they had a few of them left on the website um, at a discounted price because obviously most of 2020 is over, but I absolutely love this because I can do things like sticking, um, sticky notes on pages for things coming up that haven't happened yet. So that is one thing that I absolutely love. In the next section, this is where I kind of just keep everything YouTube related, content related. So I'm not going to show too much of that. Um, this just kind of has my video log. It just kind of keeps a um, production kind of status. And the next section is my finance section. And here is just where I kind of keep not our personal finances, but more of like just me personal finances as far as my spending, my um, wish list for things planner related, things like that. I do have this pur purchase tracker made by my friend Katie over at KDK Plans. I love this one and she sent it to me as a gift and I was like, oh my God, I absolutely love this because cloth and paper was out of their purchase tracker for the half list or discs so this came in handy just in time so I've got that section I have these new habit trackers that came in the August subscription box from cloth and paper and I'm going to start it for the month of September obviously I'm already a couple of days behind honestly because I kind of want to go through here and change it I saw how a few other people were using it and yeah I'm just gonna go in here and change it and then the rest is just some note paper so that was just a really quick rundown of my setup now let's jump 
jump into what I have learned through this process over the last month. So the very first thing would be to take it slow. This is definitely not an inexpensive planner to set up. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Inserts cost money, vellum costs money, dividers cost money, the discs cost money, and those things do start to add up. So my biggest advice and the thing that I learned over the last month was to take it slow and not necessarily buy every single insert because not every single insert is going to work for you. Just like I just shared with you guys, the undated inserts are just not my thing. The good thing is, is that I don't really see undated inserts as a waste. I can always pass them on to a friend that could use undated inserts while I can now use the ones that are dated for me. So I now know that as far as inserts go for me, I need dated inserts. <laughs> The second thing that I learned was about the disc size. So I'm currently in one inch discs, like I shared earlier. I did briefly try larger discs. This is a one and a half inch disc, and this is the current size that I'm in for the one inch. I thought that this was going to be amazing for me. I instantly did not like it. I just knew for myself this was not going to work. Um, these are my Staples aluminum discs. These are from, I believe, Poi and Hun. I'm not entirely sure. I have ordered a few different ones just to see which ones I like best. Um, and the size was just too big for me. I felt like the pages moved a lot. Um, so when you open up your... Um, disc bound system there's like this little wiggle right here right it's not too much but for some reason when i'm in a larger disc i felt like the entire book was super floppy and unstable and i didn't like it and i felt like the only way to make it stable was to add about another three pounds of inserts to it which was completely unnecessary for me um so these did not work however i will say this much these larger discs work for something much greater and i currently have this system set up here these are tool discs and they're the same size as these they are the one and a half inch but this is where all of my unused inserts go so if i only need a few of something um, i can put the rest in here and what i'm actually using goes into my book so these larger discs do come in handy. I'm going to keep these gold larger discs for the used inserts. So for example, I'm getting ready to take all of um, August out of here and I'm going to put those on these larger discs and any inserts that I finished can go over there so that I'm not just trashing them. I can go back and reference them. So that was definitely a good lesson for me to learn. All right, so the next thing that I learned is kind of a big one for me, and it might be a big one for you if you're considering starting this system. And for me, it was that I don't necessarily need an expensive cover. This cover is absolutely beautiful. This is the, um, gosh, I forgot the color, the name color. I think it's like the camel color of, um, I'm saying that wrong. I know it's a different name. Anyway, um, I have this beautiful cover from Cloth and Paper. It is absolutely stunning, but one of the things that I quickly learned is that I actually just like my book, like just like this. Sometimes I do put it in the leather cover. However, it makes it a much bigger profile to have it in the cover. So I don't always do that. A lot of times this just goes in my purse just like this. Um, it's very easy to carry around. It's very, very beautiful inside of this cover. I love it. And a lot of times I do put it in here, but it's not necessary. And had I kind of realized that in the beginning, I might have hesitated to buy this cover. I mean, I am glad that I do have it though, because there are completely sold out. Um, but if you're considering setting up this system, don't be in such a hurry to get this cover. This system can fully function without a leather cover. This is kind of a nice extra thing to have, but not necessary for your system to function, if that makes sense. Okay, next up, and I feel like this is super important to the disc bound system, is the punch that you get absolutely matters. And to me, in my personal opinion, investing in a better quality punch is absolutely worth it. But remember my first lesson, 
these, this does add up, so take your time. I would not invest in a punch until you know that this is the system that you're going to stick with. So when I first started out, the only punch that I had was this Happy Planner Punch, and it's okay. However, the way that it punched was just not very beneficial, and I'm just using a um, black sticky note here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So this shape that it creates is called a mushroom, and the shape of the mushroom truly does matter because it, it can totally make or break your system if the pages don't turn properly. It can be very frustrating if your pages are constantly getting caught, ripping and tearing. And the shape of the mushroom that the Happy Planner Punch creates is just different than the one that the Arc system, I have the Arc Punch from Staples. So I just kind of want to show you side by side. Actually, let me move this out of the way so you can see a little bit more clearly but you can see the shape difference there. So the Happy Planner one has like a longer stem area. I don't know if I'm using all the correct terminology, but um, the ARC system is a little bit wider. Um, while it is shorter, I feel like it just punches better. You can punch more than one page. My Happy Planner disc punch is it's just not great. I can only punch one page at a time. If you're printing your inserts, that's gonna take you forever. Um, and the Arc Punch just punches so, so well. So let me show you what mine looks like now that you've seen the Happy Planner. This is the Staples Arc Punch, and it's gonna kind of be hard to show in one shot here, but it's it's a big punch, you guys, but it is totally, I, I can't tell you, it. this is totally worth it. I am glad that I got this. I feel more comfortable now printing out things and punching them to add them into my system. Um, it is pretty heavy. I kind of actually just keep it on the floor underneath my desk because there's really nowhere else for it to go. Um, you can punch in a lot of different sizes, but it does have, and I'm going to see if I can get this right here, it does have the mark right there for the junior size, so there is no guessing for you. And the other thing that I love is it has this drawer that pulls out that catches all of the, the punches that are left behind in there. It's just, you can just tell it's a good quality, sturdy, heavy office product. It has a lock so that you can keep the handle down so that you can store it away easier. And then when it's open, it looks like that and you just put your paper in and punch. It is a great punch. This truly does matter if you're thinking about this system. I am so glad that, you know, in my first month of setting this thing up that I was just like, okay, I'm ready for a better punch. And that's what I did. <laughs> All right, so that's everything for this video. I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Um, I am definitely loving the system, like I said before. I would love to know if you guys have ever tried the Discbound system. If you have, which, which system, what is your setup? I would love to hear. If you have any other additional tips and tricks, please share with the rest of us down in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're already subscribed, make sure that you turn on your notifications so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.